Hello students, we will continue the poem An Elementary School Classroom in Eshalam. We were at the point, his eyes live in a dream. So, whose eyes live in a dream? And a boy at the back of dim class, one unnoted sweet and young boy who was sitting, his eyes live in a dream. What type of dream he is taking? He is a dream, uh, dreaming of squares again in tree room other than this. So whatever the activities or the study, whatever type of the study that is going on in school classroom, he has some different dreams. He is hoping for betterment for the life. And he is watching outside like Squirrel's game. Squirrel is playing on the, in the tree room and he also wants to play in the same way as a squirrel play. So he wants to be free out of this slum restrictions. So Squirrel's game is also a metaphor like Squirrel play in the same way he also want to be free to get education or to play. Like uh, Squirrel that in tree room he wants to go in open beds other than the skills, uh, other than the slum restrictions. Coming to the next stanza and here in next stanza what has been shown it has been shown the physical condition of the classroom, how they look like, what has been displayed there, and what is the physical condition that has been already described uh, described of the slum children that has been compared. So on sure cream walls. What is sure? Sure means bitter. But here walls can't be bitter. So to make a comparison between two situations. It means the bitter faces or the sharp faces of the slum children. What is their physical condition to make a similarity between the two things? Sure, cream here means the off-white or faded. As the slum children's faces are faded, they are thin, they are hungry, they are physically handicapped, their growth has not been made as that should be. So in the same way, the classroom walls have been also described. Classroom walls are also faded, they are, as you can say, dirty. And there are some donations, like Shakespeare's head. What is Shakespeare? William Shakespeare, that is a great dramatist. His head or his picture has been displayed there. So there are so many pictures, they have been displayed on the walls of the Salam classroom. They have been displayed there. Second one is cloudless at dawn. It means such a picture with, uh, without any cloud. That is uh, the symbol of you can say prosperity and development. Uh, at dawn, dawn means the morning time. At morning time, if the sky is clear, it means there is a hope and there, is, there will be development. In the same way, another picture that is civilized dome riding all cities dome are the buildings it means there were uh, there were so many pictures of different buildings they are showing that how civilized the world is how the cities have so many buildings and so much a development ballet flower flower as well in the same way the valley a beautiful austrian uh, austrian valley trilogy valley that has been also displayed there and there were also ballet flowery uh, such flowers they are look like bells and they are looking so beautiful. So a beautiful scenery has been also shown there. So all these things has been displayed on the walls of shore cream. Uh, on the walls of uh, that classroom. They are also called shore cream. Of white or you can say faded. Like the life of some children. So these has been displayed. And there is comparison between the situation of the Salam children. Why these all things are displayed. Sometimes a question comes that why uh, they are contrast with the life of some children. So to make a contrast with the life of the slum children, they have been displayed and there is no meaning of these whole pictures, they have been displayed there. Because they don't know about these old things and they are all things are out of reach. The beautiful valleys, the green fields or the Shakespeare's picture, civilized buildings, they are out of reach for these slum children who are living in inhuman condition there. Next, it has been shown open-handed map awarding the world its world. What is open-handed map? The map 
made by the authorities the map made by the rich and powerful persons and they had awarded the world their own world awarded the world its world what does it mean it means they had awarded their own world in the maps whatever that has been shown in the maps that is only of the rich and powerful persons the authorities and there is no mention of the slum area anywhere in the map and that's why awarding the world its world it means they had awarded their own world apna hi world unhone dikhaya hai so and yet for these children these windows and for these children the windows of the slum they can't even not this map the map that has been displayed in the on the classroom walls they even can't see that map because they are restricted to only the slum area on hygienic conditions and they can't see the proper growth proper development of the world because they are unknown to it so the poet is saying and even these all things have been displayed on the classroom walls even then the children can't see that map for the children these windows that is not this map they even can't see those things their world where all their future is painted with foam and their world that is totally full of foam full of darkness there is no hope in their life it seems that their world where all their future is painted with foam very important line it means that their world in their world there is no hope there is no dream and their world is fully painted with foam foam means the mist or the darkness or you can say unclear things they can't see the clear things that what will happen in their future so their future is painted with foam or their future is not clear unka future hai wo clear hi nahi hai spashti nahi hai they don't see that what will what will happen in future or what will happen next in narrow street sealed in with a lead sky and it seems that in narrow street it means slum children have only in narrow streets where they live and it seems in narrow street sealed that has been uh, that makes seal them in with a lead sky lead sky is a symbol of the darkness normally the sky is always a blue but here it has been seen the lead the lead particles it it seems that their life is full of darkness and they they have no way to come out far far from rivers and it seems that they are far far from the rivers rivers are also the symbol of development caps the islands they are also symbol of development and the stars of words and they are also far away from the stars of words of the education so it has been shown that these children who are living in slum area they are far far away from the education far far away from the development and the growth of the world the world is the rich world that is living in pro- uh, proper development and uh, prosperity and the children have no any opportunity to get any type of development or any education and their life is totally painted with foam coming to the next stanza surely shakespeare is wicked the map a bad job and it seems the picture the shakespeare's picture that has been displayed there and that is something like wicked for that wicked means a bad thing and evil thing so shakespeare do you know sex who is shakespeare shakespeare is a dramatist who uh, was a dramatist who had shown his capabilities his literary achievements are so many and these students who are living there in a very bad condition miserable condition they don't know who shakespeare was they even don't know his name let alone the achievements of shakespeare so shakespeare's achievements are of no meaning for them and that is only a wicked a thing of waste for them the map a bad example the map awarding their own world the map that has been made by the rich and powerful authorities those who rule over the world and they had not mentioned anything about the slum because the map had not a map has not mentioned a single thing about the slum children and that's why map is a bad example for the slum children with the ships with the ships and sun with the ships and also sun 
and now tempting them to steal. In map there has been also shown Sibsansan. Sibsansan are the symbol of prosperity, development and love tempting them to steal and also love has been shown. All these things which are the only symbol of development and prosperity, they only tempt them, they only tempt them to steal if they want to get them and because in a proper way, in, a honest, in an honest way, they can't get them. So these all things are making them to take a dishonest way. If they want to get them, they have to do another way. So it is a way that if they want to get, uh, that is only tempting them to steal. So these all things are thing of waste. The map is totally bad example with ships and sons and whatever the love that has been shown in the map. They are only tempting them to steal. They are only motivating or you can say dismotivating them to take these things. For the lives that slowly turn in their cramped holes. For those lives, those slowly or secretly turn in their cramped holes. Cramped means a narrow holes or the slum area. Those for those lives who are only living in these cramped holes, in narrow slums, for these lives, these things are of waste and they only tempt them to steal nothing else from fog to endless night from fog it means their life starts with fog or the unclear or you can say with mist when in morning they uh, wake up at that time they never dreams of anything and even at the night when they are totally you can say the slum uh, children they uh, they also uh, work as partner in the survival of their parents so at night they are also totally tired and they can't dream of anything else. So for those people, these sex care or the map, they are thinking of waste and they are not even thinking about anything. From morning they found fog in their life and also the endless night that is totally full of darkness. It means they have only darkness in their life. They can't go ahead. Next, it has been shown that on their slag hip, if they are living there on their slag hip, their slag hip, the industries and the uh, there are so many garbage they always threw there, and there these slum children are always found. So by collecting rags or anything else, so on their slag hip, these children wear. Once again, the physical description of the children has been shown how their physical description is how their body looks like their body looks like that they had worn skins pipped through by bones and uh, by peeping uh, by them you can even count the bones bones we are found there is no flesh koi mass dikhai nahi dega aapko keval bones hai aur skin dikhai degi and spectacles of steel with minted glass and if even they are wearing some specs they are also mended or repaired spectacles they are wearing they are not wearing a good type of specs even uh, suppose your specs are broken you can uh, purchase new uh, specs but the steel around their mended or repaired glass they are wearing such specs like bottle bits on stones once again the comparison has been made it is also metaphor uh, sorry simile because like word has been used and the bottle bits if we uh, talk about bottle bits, there is alliteration. Bottle bits, small pieces of bottle, they have been uh, just uh, thrown on the stone. It seems that if they are wearing those specs, it means they are wearing uh, small glasses. They have been broken on their eyes. Their eyes are like stone. So how miserable uh, the condition of the slum children that has been once again shown here. All their time and all their time and space that is are foggy slums all their time it means they have to spend all the time in the foggy slums their space or whatever the place they are living in that is also foggy slums so we have time with or that is totally foggy slum so blot their map 
so blot their maps with slum as big as a doom so blot blot means a disgrace their map their map means the maps of the rich and powerful persons authorities that has been displayed in the classroom with the slums if they have been displayed in the slums that is something like a doom for them destruction for them so that is something like a death or destruction for them it seems that it is something death or destruction for those who are sitting it means they should not be displayed there they are only tempting them uh, to steal or dismotivating uh, them to do some type of a crime so that is something like blot or you can say that is disgrace come to the last tense that is unless a governor inspector visitor this map becomes their window now the poet is requesting he is making an appeal to the governor that is the authorities inspector the school inspector and visitors the politicians he is making an appeal to all them that they should help these slum children they should help the slum children if they can't help they will be in the same situation so he is appealing to help them and he is also telling that this map becomes their window this map becomes their window so if they will help and this map that has been shown there or displayed on their classroom walls if that becomes their window and these windows and these windows actually the windows of the classroom that is shut upon their lives like catacombs and it seems that they have shut upon their lives once again similarly like catacombs catacombs are the graves graveyards uh, the coverings of the dead body so it seems that their life is that has been buried under the graves jaise unko dafna diya gaya ho graves ke niche daba diya gaya ho and they are restricted they can't come out of that it seems and the poet is saying to governor inspector and visitor please come and help them to get out of these graveyards or the catacombs because they are restricted they can't come out so he is saying a break or break open they open till they break the down and he is requesting them whatever the obstacles they are coming in their life they should be broken so that they could come out and show the children to green fields and he is saying show the children the green fields and make their run azure on gold sands that they should come out, out on the green fields or the uh, area where development is ki in bachcho ko bahar aana chahiye jahan par development hai and make their run azure and they should run azure on gold sands azure is the blue sky that is also a symbol of development on gold sands and they should also walk run on the gold sands so here it is for that is uh, these are the symbol of development that they should be developed or they should given better opportunities and let their tongue run naked into books the white and green leaves they should be opened and the poet is saying they should be provided good opportunities so that their uh, their tongues or their voice that can run naked into books and white and green leaves white are uh, white uh, means the books the pages of books they should be opened and green leaves means the opportunities to free uh, to run free in the greenery or the green fields so better opportunities for education that should be provided that is the main motive of the poet and he is requesting to governor inspector and visitor that uh, the gap between the rich and poor that should be abridged and they should be provided with better opportunities to get to education that's the main motive of the poet and in the last line he is saying that history dares whose language is the sun because history can make only those whose language is the sun language and sun language that is knowledge by which they can do something sun is the symbol of uh, you can say grace or power knowledge light in the same way language is also the symbol of grace and knowledge or light so making uh, once again uh, using metaphor the poet is saying that history can only make those whose language or the knowledge is like a sun who will motivate others like powerful the poet is saying in these words that 
those who are defend them they can't order to others they can't rule over the world those who have only the power of sun those who have uh, power of to motivate others only they can make history so the main motive of the poet is that whatever the gap between the two worlds that is poor world poor slum children world and the another world that is uh, of the world of rich person that should be abridged once again the poet is uh, saying here about the social injustice and class inequality that should be abridged and better opportunities should be provided to these children now we will continue with the question answers but in the next part of this